Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to fire out a quick video about this uh, top 5 referees in boxing in recent years. My personal top 5. Um, I want to say the last 20 to 30 years, whereabouts. I mean, I'm sure there are loads of other referees out there, but these 5 guys to me um, have a special place in my heart. <laughs> uh, the referees I personally like the most. Um, personal reasons more than anything else, I, uh, I didn't stay dissecting what these guys do wrong or what they could do better or whatever, honestly I just went with how I feel whenever I see any of these referees in the ring or when I used to see them at least. Um, and as much as they add to the, the uh, entertainment value of the fight, do they protect the fighters or they, are they just out there to give the fans a good show, you know what I mean? Um, anyway. I, uh, I came up with my top five just for fun. Feel free to leave your responses. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, my number five referee is Tony Weeks. Can't argue with the man's record. This man has been refing big fights for the last pff, I don't know how long. I want to say twelve years. Uh, I've seen him in in uh, just about every big Manny Pacquiao fight. I remember he was the he was there for the Delavoye versus Manny Pacquiao matchup. Uh, Barrera, if I'm not mistaken. Trying to go over them in my head. Uh, I think he was there for one Manuel Marquez as well. I like, I usually don't pay it that much attention to the referee during the fight, so I tend to forget. But um, uh, he's more often than not the referee of choice for Mayweather fights as well. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was for he was there for a few Diego Corrales fights. He might have been the ref for Corrales versus Castillo. I'm trying to remember. But uh, anyway, Tony Weeks to me, guy I'm used to seeing in the big fights. Um, so. Whenever I see Tony Weeks, I know we've got a big fight on our hands. So that's Tony Weeks. He's my number five. My number four, Frank Cappuccino, best known for the Gatti versus Mickey Ward fight. We all know about that fight, fight of the set, fight of the fight of the decade um, type of guy to keep the fight going. Clearly, all about the entertainment. Don't, doesn't really care about the safety of the fighters. Um, Gotti versus Ward, one of the best fights in boxing history. Veers a bit too much on the entertainment side of the sport, I think. Um, you know, you have to protect the fighters as well. Uh, that's one of the referees' jobs. Frank Cappuccino, obviously, uh, old school guy, that doesn't give much of a shit about the fighters going back, going by that fight. Uh, but still, tremendous respect for Frank Cappuccino. Like it or not, hey, you know, Gotti Ward. I just know I shouldn't like the way Cappuccino let that fight go on, but I can't help but think, thank God he did, man. <laughs> All-time great fight. So, yeah, Frank Cappuccino is my he's my number four, based purely on that fight, to be honest with you. Uh, my number three, Richard Steele. Okay, best known probably for the controversial, controversial decision we all know about Meldrick Taylor versus uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, Thunder versus Lightning, my number one fight of all time bar none um, that wasn't his brightest moment all that aside during that fight uh, Jim Lampley said he was the probably the best referee of the day and I stand by that decision because um, uh, for me he's the number three best ref in recent years I like Richard Steele I always get a feeling of comfort whenever he's in the ring I know we're gonna get a fair fight you know what I mean so Richard Steele is my he's my number three uh, my number two, no particular reason why, but Mills Lane, man. Uh, so, uh, except uh, I'm so used to seeing this dude, man. He's a veteran, you know. He's a veteran. He he he'd, he'd been in there. He's retired now, but he'd been in there since as far back as I can remember. Uh, you know, all the way through the Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, Tommy Hearns, Duran era. You know ref all the biggest fights probably best known for Tyson versus Holyfield where Tyson bit Holyfield's ear off so Mills Lane was the referee in that fight honestly I'm just so fucking used to, to seeing this guy <laughs> so you know looking back at playbacks of the last 40 odd years or something of the biggest fights is somehow you always see you know Mills Lane is always there so he's my number two my number one and I want to give special mention to this guy because I think he's the best referee who is active at the moment is Kenny Bayless uh, there is no other referee in the sport personally I feel more comfortable with than Kenny Bayless when Kenny Bayless is refing a fight I know that we're gonna get a fair fight I know there's gonna be no bullshit cause 
knows when to stop a fight, knows when uh, when a boxer is in over his head. I'm, I'm thinking right back now to the Juan Manuel Marquez versus Mikhail Katsidis fight. He stopped Katsidis when he was solid on his feet, but Katsidis was getting the shit beat out of him, man. So literally, uh, Kenny Bell stopped him on his feet in the middle of the ring and just like called the fight off. One of the best calls I remember seeing in the last... Well, I don't know how long. So it's Kenny Bayless. He's my number one referee. And I'd like to give, in conclusion, special mention to Joe Cortez. All right? I know, I know. I had to mention Joe Cortez. Probably the, one of the most controversial referees at the moment, right? I think people get on Joe Cortez's case a bit way too much, man. He's, he's not that bad, you know. He's a firm ref. Okay? He's made a couple of calls I don't agree with um, in, in recent years. But, um, you know, make no reservations about that. But... The sport needs a firm ref, man, if you ask me, it does, because I get the sense most referees are way too lenient these days. Mills Lane comes to mind in that respect, you know, even though I put him in my top three, so, yeah, man, lay off Joe Cortez, okay, he's not that bad. <laughs>